when I first introduced Dreambox to them, because it's the first year that they've experienced it for most of them, unless they were new to the to the district. But um, I told them that this was something that was at their own pace, and that if um, they were having difficulties with a particular concept, Dreambox would would kind of alter what it would give them to meet their needs. And um, I also told them that um, I can assign them things based on what they need. And there's different kind of pacings for that. There's short-term and long-term assignments. The long-term assignments will, will continuously give them different lessons about that concept until they reach proficiency. Um, a short-term assignment will be one or two kind of either just to check in with them or it'll be kind of a review um, on the concept just to kind of do a quick check. There's not a time that I've gone into any classroom, kindergarten through grade four, that if kids are on their iPads on Dreambox or in the lab, they are all engaged. And it's, it's really fun because it's not just about earning a badge to them, is they want to complete lessons. And in order to complete lessons, they have to show their proficiency. Mm -hmm. And then we've turned off a couple of things in Dreambox so that it doesn't turn into a, a game time, just trying to, you know, just trying to change their background. Um, and I think that's helped because some computer programs, the kids are all about changing the background, changing their emoticon, things like that. Customizing and it. Yeah. Customizing it. And yeah. we've kind of turned that off. They can use that at home, that piece, but during school hours they can't. But they don't even notice. They don't, they don't make that into a big deal. Um, so that's what's really cool. The, the kids are really motivated to work hard on it. And they are learning. They are making growth. That is, and that's what our district is all about. We want our kids growing every day, and when they are on Dreambox, they are engaged, they're motivated, but most importantly, they are the targeted standards that they are working on are what we're working on in our classrooms, so it's a win-win when it comes to that. My main reason for really, really liking Dreambox is that it is differentiated, it is personalized, because I can go, you know, scroll down, see all my kids' names, see what they're working on, see their proficiency on their last um, assignment or what they were recently working on their activity. And you can change, you know, just for one kid or for five kids or for all the kids what they're working on or seeing what, what they're doing. And I think, I think that's just really powerful because you want to try to meet everyone's needs. 